So it's about noon on Saturday. I have no idea what is it's it like January the seventh? It's January sixth. Oh, it's the sixth. Okay. Yep. So Beth is hanging out with this little guy. Yep. He's about six months old. Okay. <laughs> this is Martin who works for us. Yep. Great guy. Good guy to have help. <laughs> Tetchy. Yes, Emmanuel. We're working on the. There's Randolph, one of our drivers. We're working on uh, the feeder house again. The chain on the center sprocket keeps jumping over, breaks a bolt, and our uh, shed roof is kind of about, oh, several thousand miles high. So we brought the tent, or cover, whatever it was, um, so we can work in the shade. It's, oh, I'm going to say 90. Humidity is a little higher, so the heat index is up there. It's pretty uncomfortable. So we got this. So we got some cover. Got a little bit of of uh, breeze, so we can work on this. You got the uh, green uh, green hammer there. I see. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Logan. Ah, now Logan landed. Get to the else. So you're just coming in for a little bit of a break. You didn't break any bolts, did you? No, but they're all loose. <laughs> they're what? They're loose. They're gonna... Okay. That's tight. So Brian's retightening uh, some of the parts, and we have a visitor. <laughs> God's sakes, we just had it running. Had the chickens underneath the head, now we got a chicken in the head. <laughs> well, we're... What are the chances the battery's dead? So now the combine won't start. So uh, <clears throat> Beth was out doing tillage and came across this. What is it? It's a shade tree. But I really came across a shade tree root that was like that big. That's just a little chunk I sliced off. <laughs> so turn it around and show us the color of the... Really, really red. Broke a bolt. But the thing is, I think it would go over a corn stalk and break a bolt. So <laughs> it wasn't anything you did different. <laughs> so as you've seen in previous videos, we've been struggling with this Field King disc breaking bolts. Maybe I'm landing a lot of credit for trying to get this thing to work and tighten stuff up. But what appears that maybe why we were struggling breaking some of these bolts is, and of course it's really hard to see in here, but you can see where this plate was from the factory. It wasn't centered. So when it was pulling the disc, it was pulling it maybe at a little bit of an angle and putting a lot of load on those bolts, not evenly, instead of pulling straight. So took it apart and we need more bolts. Because if I can find one here, it's not quite right. Um, these are replacement bolts. They weren't quite the right diameter. They're heavy duty. You see that. But we're going to try. So... Off to the hardware store, as Landon refers to it. 30-minute um, drive, 25-minute drive back to Necronza. So hopefully he'll come up with a solution. I think he will. So we have these little lizards. Real shiny, or not shiny, yellow on their head and on their tail. They just cruise around. They don't hurt anything. Probably eat little insects. Kind of cool. 